Here's an experiment to measure the terminal velocity of a bin bag parachute. Okay, when you're ready, three, two, one, I'm go. using a lap time on my phone and I'm timing between the flags. So I've got section one, section two, and section three. And as you can see, they're all kind of the same time. So we can say that throughout that fall, it's been falling at terminal velocity. This is a common topic at both GCC and A-level for understanding how velocity time graphs are related to what you've learned about Newton's laws. So this is a velocity time graph for like a skydiver who's jumped out of a plane without a parachute. Or lulls where they've opened the parachute after a section of the fall. So the first section you can see the velocity is increasing, that's a period of acceleration, so the weight is greater than the drag. Then they reach terminal velocity and terminal velocity is a situation where weight is equal to drag. Then the parachute opens here and suddenly you've got this massive surface area so drag is much greater than weight and you get really rapid deceleration during that period there. Then once again weight equals drag and you get this new and lower terminal velocity and it's safe to land. No practical is perfect so here are some ways that we can actually improve this practical. First of all the most obvious one probably use video analysis. Obviously we have this human reaction time and that's a bit of a problem for timing the short times. But uh, I have been able to do that quite accurately so it wasn't too bad in this case. Avoid parallax error so basically that's by being at eye level with the scale very difficult to do because you're over at the top or the bottom of the fall. But you could for example make sure that the parachute was really close to the scale and that would have less parallax error. Also, you could test in more viscous fluids, so we actually do this by dropping ball bearings through like washing up liquid or glycerol at A-level. That's a really interesting practical. You could also try different types of parachute, different shapes or different sizes. And then lastly, repeat, spot your anomalies and calculate averages. When you have random uncertainty, like a random human error due to reaction time, you can always do that to get a more accurate result.